to the book of uh, Philippians. Philippians. I was asking the Lord what it is that he would have me to minister in. My eyes and my heart fell into this text. Amen. I want you to go to Philippians, the fourth chapter. It is a very, very familiar text. But I want us to re-engage with this text. Amen. Philippians 4, verse 7 and 8. Are we there? Amen. It says, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise here is what I want to talk about think on these things think on these things I want to talk about shift your thinking amen shift your thinking let us pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for the hearers of the word. I pray, oh God, that you would penetrate the airwaves. Those that are on Facebook, wherever they may be. God, I pray that they will be touched. But most of all, that their lives will be changed. It is in the precious and wonderful name of Jesus Christ we pray. Let us all say amen. 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 Listen, you may be seated. You may be seated. Shift your thinking. Amen. Shift your thinking. Glory to God. Now the term thinking according to Webster means the action of using one's mind to produce thoughts. Easy enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. We all understand what thinking is about. Mm -hmm. But you will be surprised at those that are that are that are in the body of Christ of how they really think. Yeah. But uh, it shouldn't be a surprise by, because because when you look at their actions, it's telling you how they're thinking. Because we don't do anything except until or before we think about it. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes. So, so, so the question is, what's on your mind? All right. We all have heard that the mind is a terrible thing to waste. Yes. <laughs> Though this statement is referring to the use of drugs, however, for many people that do not use any type of drug, Yet their thinking is not according to the word or the ways of God. It's amazing how society thinks these days. Corporate America, the entertainment industry, the sports world, and a host of other entities do not and will not include God in their thinking process. Are y'all with me? Amen. But the disturbing issue that I have is how the church thinks. Yes. Most or most of or many church people think less of God uh -huh. than the world. Mm, mm, mm. Now they are religious They are sanctimonious they, they dress up They talk the language Look the part And yet God and his word Is far from their hearts And minds All right. mm -hmm. Folk just go to church uh -huh. Amen 
They just think about going and they just go. Mm -hmm. They don't come with a mindset to give him glory. Mm -hmm. They don't come with a mindset to learn of the Lord. They don't come to give him praise and worship. They just get up and go. Because, because, because they're used to going on Sunday. <laughs> they go because, you know, mom and them made them go. Yeah. And it's a habit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this morning I want to shift yes. your thinking. Mm -hmm. Verse 7 in our text this morning is a well-known scripture, and, and, and I want to touch on it a little bit. Mm -hmm. It says, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Think about this. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. The peace of God is a sense of of holy repose or relaxation, tranquility, ease, and calmness. The peace of God. Yes. How many of you can honestly say that your mind is at ease? That, 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 that you calm, cool, and collect? Um, if you are, Glory to you. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. The peace of God is a sense of holy repose. Repose means relaxation, tranquility, ease, and calmness. And complacency with floods of the soul of the believer. When he or she is learning, leaning hard upon God. In other words, when you begin to really lean on God, God will send you peace yes, he will. like no other. <laughs> this peace surpasses all understanding. People of the world cannot understand it at all. Mm -hmm. And even Christians have it and find it a wonderful element of mystery about it. We are surprised at our own lack of anxiety in the face of tragedy and adverse circumstances because God sends you and I peace. Amen. 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 I don't know about you, but I want some peace wherever I go. Amen. And it's hard to find. It is, it's difficult because, because now these days you can go out anywhere and there's going to be some disturbance. Mm -hmm. How do you get a gun in the fair park? Well, mm -hmm. come on now, come on. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. How is it that people have the right to disturb you while you're driving on the highway trying to get to where you're going? Call it road rage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Then you come to church and you still can't find no peace. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. But it's God who would give you the peace. Yes. This peace is like living quarters, barracks, and forts mm -hmm. for the heart and the thought life. What a needy toxic tonic. I'm sorry, a tonic. Y'all know about them tonics? <laughs> oh Lord, y'all. Y'all act like y'all ain't had no drink, drink. No. What a needy tonic it is then, in this day of neuroses or problems, phobias, psychosis, and all these hangups, nervous breakdown, tranquilities. And mental distress. Mm -hmm. There's so much going on. I need some peace. There has never been a time in our society where there's more mental issues that have come forth like it is today. Mm -hmm. come out. 
Every time you turn around, there's something wrong up here. Yeah. And 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 and, and we're gonna talk about why in a few moments. Amen. Because the enemy knows that if he can get to your mind, mm. he's going to keep you from thinking on God. Lord, have mercy. Pray for me. Now in verse 8, the apostle gives a closing bit of advice concerning the thought life. Somebody say thought life. Come on, y'all say it like you mean Somebody say thought life. The Bible everywhere teaches that we can control what we think. <laughs> Listen, it is useless to adopt a defeatist attitude which says that we can simply that we simply cannot help it when our minds are filled with unwelcome thoughts. Somebody said, I can't help what I think. The devil is a liar. All right. Glory to God. You can't help what you think. Yes. Glory to God. Now, if you're in the world, I get it. But we're talking about believers. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is that we can help it. Watch this. The secret lies in positive thinking. Yes. I'm not talking about this world's positive uh -huh. thinking. I'm talking about spiritual positive thinking. Yes. Thinking according to the word of the living right. God. <laughs> y'all, I'm on to something. Y'all better pray for me because I feel like preaching this morning. Amen. It is what is well known, a well known principle. The expulsive power of a new affection. Mm -hmm. A person cannot entertain evil thoughts and thoughts about the Lord Jesus Christ at the same time. Time. Somebody show me those that can, and you will show you will show me a nut. Mm -hmm. You will show me an absolute crazy person. Are y'all with me? <laughs> Hallelujah! Listen, there. Uh, 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 if an evil thought should come to us, uh -huh. we should immediately get rid of it by meditating on the person and work of Christ. Now this takes training. This takes some work. Because the enemy wants to bombard your mind with the things that you used to do. He wants to bombard your mind with the things that are going on in the world today. He wants to overshadow your thinking and keep your mind off of God. Yes. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Glory to God. There are more enlightened psychologists and psychiatrists of our day that have come to agree with the Apostle Paul on this matter of positive thinking. But they do it stress the dangers of negative thinking. Have you been around negative folk before? Mm -hmm. That is a bad yes, it is. feeling. They, they, they mess up your vibes. Yes, <laughs> As a matter of fact, they get on your nerve. Mm -hmm. All that they talk about is negative. Negative this, negative that. Yes. And you have to break away from these kind of people. Mm -hmm. For out of the heart, the mouth speaking. So you know what's in them is sour. Yes. It ain't no good, it's just negative. Negative, negative. Ain't said one positive word yet. Mm. So we got to pray. Listen. The reason why we don't have the peace that we need is because most of us in the church think negative. 
Oh, I ain't. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I can't. I can't. I, I don't know. Uh, she, she better at it than I am. Uh, uh, I can't sing. Glory to God. Uh, I, I mean, just, just gripe it. Negative. Naked, and God is sitting there listening, mm. and you just as naked. Anybody in here ever been negative toward God? Mm. You may not admit it, but somewhere along the way, you've been negative. Moses, go down and tell Pharaoh. I said, "Let my people go," Never. but God, I can't. I can't even mm -hmm. talk. Wow. Mm. Okay. And then I, 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 I thought of it. But if you read the text, not one time did Moses stop. Right. Nope. He took Aaron and not one time had Aaron had to speak for him. <laughs> I want to tell you, don't be negative. Yes. Come on. Because if God knew that you couldn't do it, he would not have asked you. Well. Amen. It's a blessing to be asked to do, to do something by the Almighty God. That means He has confidence in you. Yes. Because He's going to be with you to do it, to accomplish the mission. He is going to bless you to do it. Mm -hmm. But if you allow the enemy to put the negative thoughts in your head, you ain't going to go nowhere. Well, I'm Lord have mercy. I'm talking about some positive thinking. You you got to shift your thinking. Yes. Our peace comes through positive thinking. The word think or logizista is the Greek word. means to consider, mm -hmm. reflect, reason, and ponder. The reason why we can't do any of this because we're always on the go. We're always moving. We won't sit down mm. and ponder things. Mm. We won't sit down and listen. We won't sit down and examine stuff. And you wonder why all this stuff is going crazy. Mm. <laughs> Can I get some help? Listen, the whole idea is that of focusing our thoughts until they shape our behavior the correct way. I said your behavior uh -huh. the correct way. As I was speaking this morning about the offering, many people in the church have negative thoughts when it comes to money. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, that's true. The church is suffering because people have negative thoughts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it ain't never negative when we got to go to the club. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's never negative when we got to go down the street and get some marahuchi <laughs> or whatever your <laughs> preference drug is. <laughs> it ain't never negative when you walk out of the liquor store with some hand me see. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. Help me. All right. Come on. It ain't never negative when you walk in and got to pay that expensive cover charge to get into the club. Mm -hmm. But when it come to God, all of a sudden, we got all these negative thoughts. Come on. Come on. Lord have mercy. Tell your neighbor, shift your thinking. Shift. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, people have a bad thought about the preachers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying every last one of them are good. There's always a bad apple always. in the bunch. Mm -hmm. I don't care. There's a bad apple in secretaries. There's a bad apple mm -hmm. in this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. Principals, right. superintendents, You're right. children, yeah. always. But for the majority of people, they do not reverence a preacher. Mm -hmm. He's right. just a man like me. Mm -hmm. he put on his pants just like I do. Mm -hmm. And back in the day, 
we 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 used to reverence pastors and preachers. Mm -hmm. Be yeah. smoking. You know they come. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Try to hide the beer can and can oh, that yeah. long, and you still trying to hide. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we wouldn't dare try to smoke no dope around. And now it's, <laughs> it's so much negative thinking yeah. about the man of God yeah. that they will not bless him mm. or his wife. Mm -hmm. Don't let him be doing well because oh. they're going to really tell him. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. know, so that's where all our money going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Girl, look at that hat she got on. I know it had to cost at least 150 I know, I know it did. Girl, she let me tell you. I could have took that 150 and fed my kids. And, you know, just talking negative. They don't know. Amen. They have no clue they both got jobs. that when you bless the blessed, God will bless you. Yes. Amen. Right. Lord, That's it. have mercy. Do it. Come on, come on. I'm talking about some positive thinking. Yes. The truth is, what we think is what we become. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where we have kept our minds is where we are. Mm -hmm. Our thoughts shape our behavior. Mm -hmm. What we do is what we think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, it's the truth. You're right. Lord have mercy. Right. Sister Beverly, you tell me you wouldn't have put on that red if you wouldn't have what? Thought, thought about it. You wouldn't have married that man if you wouldn't have thought about it. You sure right about it. I know you want to rethink it now, but it's too late. You sure right about that too. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody said amen. Glory to God. You said too loud. I thought, you know, we, we got folk listening. <laughs> William Barclay says, it is a law of life that if a man thinks of something often enough and long enough, he will come to the stage when he cannot stop thinking about it. His thoughts will be quite literally in a groove out of which he cannot jerk himself. In other words, you're thinking about it, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. You keep thinking about robbing a bank. Mm -hmm. You in the bank robbing. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Keep on thinking about it. Be I don't care how saved and sanctified you are. First of all, you ain't got no business thinking about robbing no bank. Uh -huh. But 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 you you keep on thinking about it. After a while, you're gonna find yourself getting yourself together for the bank robbing. <laughs> uh -huh. Ski mask. Yeah. You know, grenades and and and, and plans, you know, scouting the building. <laughs> now the next thing you're gonna need is some nerve mm -hmm. to uh do uh -huh. what you plan to do. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Tell somebody shift your thinking. Shift. Shift. Hallelujah, glory to God. I, I want to get a little bit deeper. Is that all right? Amen. The believer who centers their thoughts upon the world. And the things of this world will live for the world and its things. We've got to always remember that we are not of this world. We have to remember that. We cannot allow ourselves to become so attached to the things of this world and we lose our soul. And we're going to get the same punishment that the world will get. Amen. And I know it's difficult sometimes to let some things go. But baby, I don't care what I got to let go to live in eternity with God. Baby, bye. Bye. That's it. Amen. Bye. She ain't worth it. He's not worth it. It ain't worth me dying. Uh -uh. Right. Hallelujah, because it's all temporary anyway. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So, money, wealth, lands, property, houses, possessions, 
position, power, recognition, listen, honor, social standing, fame, and a host of other worldly pursuits mm -hmm. is what most believers are after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. I'm so sick of these church folk talking about I'm a diva. Mm -hmm. Diva? <laughs> what do you mean? In the house of God? Get ready to look it up. You're a diva? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say it again. Get <laughs> Better look it, it up. up. For real. Amen. And, 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 and we got to stop playing these worldly games mm -hmm. in the church. Do you hear me? You know why we do it? Because our minds are really not on God. That's right. Our thinking needs to be shifted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. What happened to holiness? Mm -hmm. What happened to you telling the folk the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? Mm -hmm. What happened when the pastor set them down? Make them shut up Silence. in this place. Glory to God. Now, why y'all get silent? Mm -hmm. They, they, they want to change the rules now. We don't talk to people like that no more. Yeah, you better talk to that devil. You better. Because they will take over. They shall be. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Mm. A believer who centered his or her thoughts upon the flesh and its lust will live to satisfy the flesh through such things as pride, self, greed, pleasure, and sex. Lord, have mercy. Are y'all with me? Listen. You cannot center your thoughts on this word. You got to do this God's way. If you want to enjoy life, if you want to be an overcomer, if you want to get the maximum out of life, do it God's way. I guarantee y'all, I know some of y'all may not, you may not agree with me, but uh, I'm telling you, that little old sex you thought you had in the world, and when you got married to the right person, God made it good. Look at y'all. Why y'all being quiet? It was God that made sex, okay? Thank you. And let me tell you, because, because the world wants to make it be something that it's not. The world has perverted, or the devil has perverted it. And God said, no, I set it up for a husband and a wife. And when you get it right the way I said do it, then you should have a whole lot of fun. A believer who centers his or her thoughts upon the eyes and its lust will live to satisfy the eyes and its lust through such things as the immoral, pornographic filth, flaunted in magazines, films, books, and television. The exposing of the human body. Dressing to attract attention. Looking a second time. <laughs> All of this is going on. Mm. Up here. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Do you understand now why we got to shift our thinking? Mm -hmm. Because in the church is too much stinking thinking. Right, amen. Glory to God. I said it's too much stinking thinking. Mm -hmm. And until we rid ourselves of this stinking thinking, we cannot be holy. Mm -hmm. My God. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but I'm telling you the truth. 
for those that are listening, you know where you are in your mind. You know that you don't think about God but once a week. Mm. And that's on Sunday. My God. <laughs> Friday night, Saturday night, wonder who you're thinking about. Mm. What you thinking about. <laughs> My God. Mm -hmm. That's why we can go to the club and don't feel nothing, just go. Mm -hmm. Because that's where I want to be. Because <laughs> that's what I'm thinking about. But let me ask you, why is it that we can't think about prayer? Mm, mm. Why is it that we don't think about reading the word of God? Why is it that we can't think about taking some time to worship? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. we, we, we think about everything. Uh, 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 listen, we, we, our faults are upon the pride of life. Mm -hmm. Which will satisfy such things as the desire for recognition, honor, position, and authority. I'm trying to get you all to really see how the devil has messed our thinking up. I'm talking about, I'm talking about believers, not the world, because, because we can expect for the world to do this. But when we are doing this, we've got to shift our thinking. For as a man thinketh, Lord help me, ain't the Bible right? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. As a man thinketh, so is he. People will let you know what they're thinking when they talk to you. <laughs> Amen. Whether they cuss you out or not, you'll know how they feel about you. And I, and, and, and I want you to shift your thinking more toward God. Mm -hmm. Is that all right? I want you to shift your thinking toward God. You know why? Because, because, because God is the one that created your mind. Mm -hmm. You owe him your mind. Yes. You owe him worship. You owe him allegiance. You owe him everything that you have. And he going to get it. I can't get no help in here this morning. Amen. Until you shift your thinking toward God, you will always be in this stupor. Yeah. You're not going to progress. You're not going to get along. You are going to have issue after issue after issue. And if you don't shift your mind or your thoughts toward God, you're going to die. Mm, I die. Mm. Mm. Without the opportunity to change your mind. A mind set up on the world and the flesh is what leads to anxiety and worry. Emptiness. And restlessness. Mm -hmm. A worldly mind never knows peace. Not true peace. Not the peace of God. God will just never allow a worldly mind to have peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. You ever wonder why your friends always were? Always got some on it. Always going through something. Yes. And they refuse to go to the house of God. They refuse to go to the man of God. They refuse to turn their lives over to God. And they have no peace. Mm -hmm. The Bible declared that God is angry with the wicked all day long. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Has anybody in this room experience any level of peace with God since you've been saved. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I don't know about you. I don't worry about the stuff I used to worry about. Can I, can I get a witness? 
I, I just don't worry about stuff I used to worry about. Amen. I don't. I don't worry about no bills. I don't worry about being sick. I ain't worried about none of that. Amen. I mean, I feel good. But after a while, it'll all be over. It, it ain't enough sickness to make me turn around. Lord, I ain't that broke. I got to turn around. Because I've learned how to shift my thinking. In your personal relationships, you got to shift your thing. You can't deal with your sister the way y'all deal with each other when y'all was young. You know how y'all grew up fighting each other, pulling each other hair out, and you know, hiding her bra over here and just tearing up. And you can't do that stuff. Shift your thinking. You go to work, you better have your mind shifted. Lord. Glory to God, because you can't go in there and act a plum fool like you used to. You mm. And then, and then you want to blame it on God. <laughs> God, why you let him out? You went in there and you got the roll in your neck, and you messed around, put your hand on your hip, and you said that you wanted to give him a piece of your mind, and which you should have kept because you need all the mind you got. And here you are, and then you expect for them to just take it. You better get out of here. <laughs> God, why you do that? Uh, I didn't do it. You did. Glory to God. God would never allow a worldly mind to have peace. How many of y'all can testify when you was in the world, you didn't have no peace? Not really. <laughs> you, 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 you were faking and shaking. Lord have mercy. That's old school talk. You were faking and shaking. You thought you were cool. Woke up the next day with another problem. <laughs> Especially if you've been out all night with somebody you don't know. Right. And you wake up the next day like, and they land right beside you. <laughs> 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 oh, first thing you do is take your hand like, oh, Lord. What have I done? <laughs> Woo, we'll see what the drunks would do to you. <laughs> you ain't got no peace whatsoever because now you think, man, what if they, what if they got some? What, what if they married? I can't believe I did it. I don't know. And your mind is just going and going. And I'm telling you, it would linger for days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you turn around and you see old Joe with another one. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Here you go, winding all up again. Lord, have <laughs> Jesus. I told you you didn't have no peace in this world. Because if, if, if alcohol and drugs and sex would give you peace. Uh, you wouldn't need God. Okay. Come on. Are y'all with me? So tell your neighbor again. Shift. Shift. Your thinking. Your thinking. <laughs> Shift. Shift. Your thinking. I must tell you then, when a person accepts Jesus Christ. His mind is to be renewed by the Spirit of God. Yes. Can I run this word through you? Hear the word of the Lord. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Listen, your mind, your mind got to become new. You can't do what you used to do. You can't go where you used to go. You can't say what you to yeah. say you can't think the way you used to think is all new. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, I said in Christ, he is. He ain't trying to be. He is a new creature. Lord, have mercy. Y'all pray for me because I'm getting excited. And that ye may prove 
what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? Romans 12 and 2. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that ye put on the new man. Which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. In other words, God wants you to be like him. God don't think foolishness. No, he don't. <laughs> God don't think sinful. God doesn't think envy, malice, and jealousy. God don't play them games. That's the devil. So you got to shift your thinking to where your father is. Yes. Think about it. 